perfect wisdom. With the divisions of the Abyssamilakra. Translated by Edward Kins 1904-1979. University of California Press Berkeley, Los Angeles, London. Chapter 71. The nature of dharmas is signless. And cannot be apprehended. Subhuti. If all dharmas have a non-existent own being, as a result of which reasoning does the bodhisattva for the sake of being set out to fully know the utmost, right, and perfect enlightenment. The Lord. To the extent that all dharmas are non-existent in their own being, to that extent the bodhisattva sets out for the supreme enlightenment. And why? Something base is a basis, and there can be no attainment, reunion, or full enlightenment for someone who has the notion of a basis. Subhuti. Is there, then, an attainment of the baseless, a reunion with it or a full enlightenment with regard to it? The Lord. Just the baseless is attainment, just the baseless is. Reunion, just the baseless is full enlightenment, on account of the fact that the realm of Dharma should not be upset. One would wish to upset the realm of Dharma if one were to wish for the attainment of the baseless, for reunion with it, or for full enlightenment with regard to it. Subhuti. If there is no attainment of the baseless, no reunion with it, and no full enlightenment with regard to it. But if just the baseless is attainment, just the baseless is reunion, just the baseless is the supreme enlightenment, how then again can there be of a bodhisattva the first, two? The tenth stage, how the patient acceptance of dharmas which fail to be produced. How can there be those karma resultant superknowledges and that karma resultant giving, to wisdom, which enable him to mature beings, to purify his Buddha field and to serve upon the Buddhas and lords with food, to other benefits useful to humans, and which will not be snatched away from him before his karma result becomes exhausted at the time when, on having entered final nirvana, he leaves his relics and disciples. The Lord. Just in so far as there is the baseless. Just so far there are the ten stages. The karma result in five super knowledges. The karma result in perfections, as well as the karma result in wholesome roots by which he works the will of beings until, on having entered final nirvana, he becomes an object of worship. Subhuti. What is the distinction, what the difference, between the baseless on the one side, and the perfections and super knowledges on the other? The Lord. There is no difference between them. But with regard to the unstained perfections and super knowledges, a difference has been laid down. Subhuti. What is that difference? The Lord. Here the Bodhisattva, who courses in perfect wisdom, gives gifts without having apprehended the gift, or the renunciation, or the donor or the recipient. He guards morality without having apprehended morality, too. He purifies the Buddha field without having apprehended the Buddha field, and he fully knows enlightenment without having apprehended the Buddha dharmas. It is thus that the Bodhisattva courses in a perfection of wisdom which does not act as a basis. It is thus that the Bodhisattva courses in perfect wisdom, and that, coursing in it, he becomes unassailable by Mara, the evil one, or by the divinities of Mara's host. 7. The single instantaneous reunion. The reunion by one single thought in general. Subhuti. How does the Bodhisattva, the great being, coursing in the perfection of wisdom, acquire with one single thought the six perfections, to the 80 accessory marks of a superman? The single instantaneous reunion with regard to all dharmas without outflows and without karma result this not having yet matured? The Lord. Here whatever gift a bodhisattva may give that is not taken hold of apart from perfect. And so for all other spiritual practices. Subhuti. How does a bodhisattva who has been taken hold of by perfect wisdom acquire with one single production of thought the six perfections, to the eighty accessory marks of a superman? The Lord. Here when the bodhisattva, 
who courses in perfect wisdom, gives gifts, then, taken hold of by perfect wisdom, he is not one who perceives duality in that. And so for the other. Spiritual practices. Subhuti. How can a bodhisattva, who courses in perfect wisdom, accomplish these spiritual practices without becoming one who perceives duality therein? The Lord. Here a bodhisattva, coursing in perfect wisdom, fulfills the perfection of giving. He gives gifts after having included. In that perfection of giving all the six perfections. And likewise he fulfills all the dharmas which constitute the wings to enlightenment, too. He develops the path after having included in it all the six perfections. And why should that be so? At the time when the bodhisattva, coursing in perfect wisdom, gives a gift, he does so having stood in a thought without outflows, and he does not review a sign, I. E. Him who gives, him to whom he gives, what he gives, who am I that gives? He gives his gifts with a thought free from signs, without outflows, free from craving and ignorance. He does not review that thought, nor that gift, and so on up to all the Buddha Dharmas. Moreover with the thought free from signs he practices the other five perfections, as well as the remaining spiritual practices, and in each case he fails to review them and their constituents. Subhuti. How does the Bodhisattva fulfill these spiritual practices when all dharmas are without signs and unaffected? The Lord. Here the Bodhisattva gives to all who ask for them gifts with a thought free from signs, food to those who desire food. Drink to those who desire drink, and if someone who has come along should say to him, what is the use of your giving a gift which is no help at all? Then that Bodhisattva, who courses in perfect wisdom, thinks to himself, although those beings do abuse me and say what is the use of your giving such a trifling gift. Nevertheless I should give gifts, and I should not not give them. Having made that gift common to all beings, he dedicates it to the supreme enlightenment. But he dedicates it in such a way that, when dedicating, he does not review a sign, I. E. This is the gift, to him I give, by that I give, or who is it that gives? Or, I do dedicate, to what do I dedicate, wherewith do I dedicate, who is it that dedicates? He does not review the entity which he would give away or which, having given it away, he dedicate to the supreme enlightenment. And why? Because all such entities are empty through thirteen kinds of emptiness. And when he thus considers where to he will dedicate, what he will dedicate and whereby he will dedicate, then his dedication will be actually effective. Furthermore he matures beings and acquires a Buddha field. He fulfills the perfection of giving, to the eighteen special Buddha Dharmas. And from the very beginning he fulfills the perfection of giving without seizing on its reward. Just as the Paranirmatavasavartan gods satisfy all their needs by mind alone, so does the Bodhisattva. Through that gift he serves upon the Buddhas and Lords, he gladdens the world with its gods, men, and asuras, and establishes those beings in the triple.